Hey guys, so in class today we went over a couple different things. The first that we are going to talk about is the Hate You Give reading schedule so that you guys know when you need to have a certain section read by um, and then how much for that week. So this week is the week of September 8th through the 11th and you guys are going to read chapters 1 through 4 which is about 66 pages in total if you are reading the physical book. Again, the EPUB file will be different. So you are going to read all the way through chapter 4, and that's going to be due on class in class for September 11th. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. But you guys are going to read this through your EPUB file, which you have on your computer and should have downloaded. If not, you can go to Classwork, and then the Hate You Give, and then it's the second folder that says the Hate You Give EPUB. Please let me know if you have any questions or are having a problem downloading that. I also have on there the audio file, which I can show you guys how to look at here in a second. Uh, basically, you go to our class, and then under this folder, we have the Hate You Give audiobook as well. This is just something to use if you want to listen while you read. All right, so the next thing for you guys is actually going to be Freytax Pyramid, which just has to do with plot points. You guys have all talked about plot points before, which are essentially these right here where you have your beginning or your exposition all the way through your climax and your resolution. So here's what those, what that breakdown is. First you start with your exposition, which you introduce your main character's setting, tone, that's usually where we start off on the story. The rising action is when we're introduced more to the characters, what they're attempting to do, and it leads up into the climax of the story, which is the turning point where things kind of like chaos happens or drama, and all this crazy stuff. From there, the falling action is what happens right after, so how the main story is solved, and then the resolution is where the main characters end up, or how the story has finally come to a conclusion. So I have an example for you from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone if you want to see what it's broken down into. I had to severely shorten this because obviously I can't include every single thing, but as a snapshot, we start with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and we are introduced to Hogwarts and magic and all those great things. Then the, in the rising action, Harry and his friends start to worry about somebody trying to steal the stone that could bring Voldemort back to life and they start to suspect Snape. The climax of the story is when Harry and Ron actually find where the stone is hidden and then they are tested with all of these pieces like playing live action chess or Harry jumping on a broom and trying to catch this key. That's the climax. The falling action is when Harry kills Quirrell and Quirrell, Professor Quirrell, and then um, Harry wins, ends up in the hospital. The resolution is when House Gryffindor has won the House Cup and Hogwarts is safe yet again. So your homework is you guys are actually going to practice this with a movie or story that you've read. Uh, it doesn't have to be super long, just a sentence for each of these points. And then you're going to read this short story right here, literally just the like this tiny paragraph. And you're going to do the same exact thing. If you remember reading Frog and Toad when you were younger, it's just based off of this. So you guys will read this and then fill this in as well. If you actually look at the assignment right here, it has this slideshow where you guys can make a copy of it and then fill in those two slides and then turn that in. With that being said, that's it for today. <coughs> you guys are going to read and then turn this in. If you have questions, please let me know. It should be pretty short and sweet, um, but I'm going to be on office hours if you do have questions, okay?